Hey friend, Brad from simpleguitar.com here. Now, if you've ever, you know, had trouble figuring out why your playing isn't coming together and things sound sloppy and it's just not as clean as you would like and or as fast as you would like because everybody wants to play fast, a lot of times people will continue to practice and and work on stuff. But the problem isn't typically where you think it is. Most of the time, the problem isn't going to be in your fretting hand. The problem is going to be in your picking hand. And we're going to talk today about why your, your picking hand can be tripping you up and not meaning to and how to fix that so that you can play better and faster and smoother and get it all to sound good. Okay, so um, I've got two quotes for you. One of them comes from uh, Peter Drucker, the management guru dude. And he had a quote about what, if you want to improve something, he basically said, what gets measured gets managed and whatever gets managed gets improved. Okay. And that same thing is going to apply here to your guitar playing because what you measure in your guitar playing, what you pay attention to in your guitar playing will get managed. You'll do something about it and then you'll see improvement. And T. Harv Eker had a similar quote. He said, um, where attention goes, energy flows, and results show. That one's a little bit easier to, to roll off the tongue, but I really like that because where your where your attention goes is where your energy is going to flow. It's where you're going to put your most, you, you know, your actions and and your your thoughts about that area, and then you're going to see results there. Well, with guitar players... We're always worried about our fretting hand, right? We're worried about getting our fingers to move fast and, and making it look cool by doing that. But the problem is, is that means that for a lot of us, we put our picking hand on autopilot, okay? And usually we put it on autopilot when we haven't even instilled the right habits for our picking hand yet. So our picking hand isn't working optimally yet, but we go ahead and just put it on autopilot anyway. That sounds silly right? We wouldn't, we, we shouldn't do that because that is what holds a lot of guitar players back. Because when it comes to playing guitar, it's not just about your fretting hand, okay? It's not just about being able to play quick and do stuff with that. It's about both of your hands working together. And so today we're going to talk about how you can focus more on your picking hand and how that is going to help you get a lot more results. So like I was saying, playing guitar well has to do with both of your hands working well together, okay? The technical term for that is your two hand synchronization. Are your two hands, both hands, synced up together and working together? If not, if say, when you go to pick a note with your, with your pick, um, <laughs> and your fretting hand is off, you're gonna get that, or that, or something that sounds really goofy and we don't want that. And so what we're gonna talk about today is about getting this hand, your picking hand, up to speed so that you can work together. Your hands will start to work better together and improve how they synchronize so that your playing will be a lot better. And, you know, as I've worked with students, one of the things that I have noticed a lot of the time is the biggest problem for this is because when we're playing guitar, we naturally tend to just watch our fretting hand, okay? Whether we're playing scales or we're playing chords, our eyes are right here, okay? We're watching the fretting hand all the time. And this is where that quote by T. Harv Eker goes is where your attention goes, energy flows, and results show, okay? So if we're watching our fretting hand all the time and just leaving this over here to do whatever, then naturally we're just going to start picking up bad habits and, and make, you know, our, our picking hand will be underdeveloped and our fretting hand will be overdeveloped, okay? So this is the number one thing for you to be able to do is instead of just watching your fretting hand and paying attention to what's going on there, you have to turn your head 
and watch your picking hand. <laughs> And you have to get used to doing that. It's a little bit weird at first because, I mean, naturally you do want to watch your fretting hand because it's doing some pretty cool stuff. But you do have to be able to turn your head and look down and watch your picking hand. Because when you're doing that, you're going to be able to catch a lot of the bad habits that your picking hand is developing. And so a few things that you should watch for is if you're picking from your fingers, if your picking motion is coming from your fingers only, okay? Or if when you're picking, you're like twisting your wrist, rotating your wrist like this, okay? You don't want that. All your picking motion should come from your wrist and should just go back and forth. So I just went and grabbed my notebook to show you this. The motion for your pick needs to be coming from your wrist, right? And sometimes that can be hard for people to do. So what you have to do is practice it. So what you can do is just grab a flat surface. I've just grabbed a notebook here to make it easy, okay? And what you do is you lay your hand flat on it. So right now my wrist is on it, my palm is on it, my pick is on it. I'm trying to show you as many angles as I can here. Maybe I'll just get closer, okay? So check this out. My hand right here, and then you're gonna pick back and forth. And your hand just goes back and forth like this, okay? And all that motion is coming from your wrist, okay? This is the proper pick motion. This is gonna make your life easier. You don't want your pick coming from your fingers, using your fingers to do your picking motion, okay? Or twisting like this, okay? Now, honestly, <laughs> If you're not like a super serious player and you're not worried about like shredding and playing at super high advanced levels, guess what? That's not gonna matter a whole lot, but it's going to make your life easier to get that motion down, to get it coming just from your wrist so that it's just your wrist going back and forth side to side. And that means that when your pick hits the strings, then the motion that your pick goes through is gonna be a straight line because you're gonna go straight down through the string. And then when you pick up, you're gonna come straight up through the string. And there won't be any like sweeping motions where your pick moves in an arc, okay? We don't want that. We want your pick to just stay straight and nice and picking from your wrist is going to make it a lot easier to do that, okay? So that's one of the first things is making sure that that, that motion um, is coming, your picking motion is coming from your wrist and practice on a flat surface. You can do this anywhere, okay? You can do it on the table. You can do it on your leg if you want to. You can do it anywhere. It's awesome. It makes life so much easier. Um, in fact, something that you can do, uh, this, this is another little bonus tip. I wasn't even thinking about throwing this in. Um, but if you're wearing uh, pants that have a seam on the side of it, like I'm wearing jeans that have a seam running down the side of the leg, most guitar players carry a pick. If you don't carry a pick, why don't you carry a pick? Carry a pick, right? Just don't carry 12 like I used to. I was carrying, like, I would have all sorts of picks just in case I lost one or the 11 before that that I had, right? Now I just carry one. But you can take your pick, and on the seam on the side of your leg, you can practice doing your picking motion on that seam. That seam will act as a little string for you, and you can practice that, Okay. And again, you can do that anywhere. You can be waiting in line somewhere and practice your picking right there on, on the side of your pants. Uh, it makes life easier. Um, so that's one of the first things that you want to watch out for. Make sure that your picking is not coming from your fingers, that you're not using a sweeping arc when you pick, that your pick is just going straight up and down, and that your motion is coming from your wrist. And you're going to have to watch your hand to make sure that all of that is happening cor correctly. Now, another thing with this is that a lot of guitar players will spend a lot of time strumming chords, okay? And an easy way to get practice improving your picking hand and making it better and more accurate is instead of just strumming chords all the time, you start to actually pick out the notes in the chords. And what that's going to do is that's going to, 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 uh, to get you picking the different strings with your pick. So instead of just doing this, I could take my G chord and I could practice going. Or 
it could do different patterns. <laughs> Just you can you can practice all sorts of stuff. Okay, so the idea is is when you're playing chords, instead of just strumming them all the time, you need to take time and practice arpeggiating the chords. Now that's a fancy word. If you don't have a musical background, and you're like, what the heck does that mean? An arpeggio is in its most basic form. When you play a chord on the guitar, instead of strumming the chords, the, the notes, you pick them all out one at a time. That's it. The simplest, easiest way to understand it is you're just picking out the notes of a chord. Okay. That's all you have to know right now. Okay. So when you hear someone say, we need to arpeggiate that or, or do the arpeggio, that's essentially what they're saying. It can get a little bit more complicated than that, but we'll talk about that another time. Okay. Right now. That's all you have to worry about is if someone says arpeggiate the chord, you're just picking out the notes individually instead of strumming through all of them at the same time. Okay, makes sense? Okay, so with that, if you do that, if you, you what you need to do is you, you need to practice picking out your chords instead of just strumming them, but then listen to songs. Listen for songs that have more picking in them and then go learn those songs. Doing that is going to help you um, get the experience of doing what these other guitar players are doing and how they use it. And then you're going to be able to take that and be creative with it in your own way, which is really, really good too. Now, a little bit more advanced tip is if you've done any finger picking stuff like Travis picking. What you can do is you can actually just take your finger picking exercises and, and songs and play them with a pick instead. Sometimes that can get tricky if you're doing. If you're picking notes at the same time, um, so don't worry about that. But you can take a lot of stuff and practice like that Travis picking pattern. And I can take that and do that with a pick. Okay, so that's what you need to start focusing on because where attention goes, energy flows, and results show. So, a couple big things for you to do. One, watch your picking hand while you play. If you watch your picking hand, you're going to be able to make sure that you're not developing bad habits with it. You're going to be able to make sure that you're doing things correctly. And it's going to sound a lot better because your two hands are going to sync up a lot faster. And then two, practice your picking motion on a flat surface. Just lay your whole hand down flat like I did on my notebook. Just lay your hand flat and then practice that picking motion back and forth. Ah, oh, one thing I forgot about that. You can do it not with a pick, but do it on a piece of paper and do it with a pen. I don't remember who I learned this from, but someone showed me this one time where you do this on paper and you take a pen and you hold it like your pick and then you practice your motion. OK, and the goal is to get that motion as small as possible, because if you want to be efficient with your picking, then you, you need to get your picking motion to be smaller. So bonus. So practice on a flat surface, practice, practice with a pen and paper to do your picking to see how small you can get your motion even better. And then make sure that you're using it, that you're doing picking patterns in songs and with your chords and, and trying it with finger picking stuff. Okay. By paying attention to your picking hand, it's going to improve a lot of the stuff that you do, because like I said, your hands are going to sync up better and your tone comes from both of your hands, not just your fretting hand. It's not just your fingers that will determine how good you sound is how you're picking and watching your picking hand is going to help you get that down a lot better. Okay. So those are the big things that I want you to do is, is pay attention to your picking hand because that's going to help you avoid a lot of problems in the future. Now, if you do that. Okay. Now, if you want more stuff like this, I have a free guide for you at my website, simpleguitar.com. It's the top 10 things to learn on guitar first. 
and it's totally free. So go to simpleguitar.com, uh, get that guide for you. It includes this and, and a bunch of other stuff. And so I'm trying to put out these videos to help you out with those things that are in the guide specifically. And so go get that simpleguitar.com. Let's see. Let's do this again. So if you like that, then I have a free guide for you over at the website at simpleguitar.com. Uh, it's called the 10, the top 10 things to learn on the guitar first. And it includes this tip about watching your right hand and a whole bunch of other stuff. So if you like this, go get that guide. It is absolutely free. So go download it and use it. And I hope that it will bring some clarity to the stuff that you need to learn in the beginning of your guitar journey and it give you a lot of bang for your buck so that you can get some results really, really quick. So that's it today, guys. Have fun with that. Make sure that you watch your picking hand and I will catch you in the next video.